This lesson covers the advanced resource record management and specifically how we handle records that are dynamically created. In DHCP, as part of my properties, when I give out an IP address, I give it a lease. That's the duration for which that machine keeps the IP address. The default is eight days. So this machine will get an IP address and it will dynamically register its host name to that IP address and it will keep it for at least eight days. Also part of the configuration, you can tell the DHCP server should it let the client update its own records and the DHCP server only register it if requested by the client or always do it for older clients such as the NT4 who don't support dynamic update or always make the DHCP server register regardless if the client asks it to or not. This would mean the DHCP server owns those records rather than the client. So what does this mean? So on my DNS server, I have lots of records that were created by clients. Now suppose I just turn that client off and I never turn it back on again. I reinstall the machine. I have lots and lots of effectively stale records. They're just not used anymore. And so DNS has a capability to scavenge these. There are a number of settings related to this. So I can set aging scavenging for all zones and there are two time intervals. So the first is called the no refresh interval and by default it's seven days. So what this is saying is if a machine registered its IP address to hostname record within the last seven days, if that machine tries to refresh or update that record, i.e. renew it, ignore it. The reason you do this is you want to try and cut down on replication traffic between the DNS servers. So if it's within seven days, don't bother letting it update. The next one is now how long until you consider that record old past that no refresh interval. And this is also set to seven days by default. So what this means is after that initial seven days, this is the time in which that machine must refresh that record, update it with a new timestamp before it's considered stale. So you would add these two together. So seven plus seven. So effectively after 14 days, if it had not updated that record, it would now be considered stale. And you have to be very careful if you actually turn on scavenging of stale records because it does relate very heavily to the DHCP lease time. Because if my DHCP lease time was let's say 14 days and I had this set to maybe three and three, well this would actually go and start scavenging and deleting the records too early. So you do actually need to make sure you consider your lease time and make sure you're not going to delete records while that lease is still active on the client. There's a lot of different guidance for what you should set these values to. But the one that seems the most common and makes sense is you want to set these to equal the lease duration. So for example, if my lease duration was eight, I might set this to four and four. So now after eight days, this could be considered stale. If it's too long, the challenge is the DHCP server may give out the IP address to another machine, but the old record still exists, so it can't be updated. There's actually a great record by Microsoft Premier Field Engineering that actually talks through in detail the pros and the cons, the setting you can configure on DHCP to make the DHCP server register it instead, but it talks through the exact problem you would see. And this is really where that recommendation comes from letting it equal. So I'm going to set this to four and four. I'm going to apply these, and it's going to update all of the zones in AD integration. Now you can also set these on a per zone basis. So as part of the aging, I can set different values. So I'm now going to update these to four and four as well. But by default, scavenging is not actually enabled. I'm going to go back to that server and under properties, under advanced, I'm going to enable automatic scavenging of stale records. And I'm going to do it every day. So we're going to apply that. So now what that will actually cause it to do is once a day it will go through and it will delete those stale records. Now to perform a manual, I can actually right click on the server and I can say scavenge now. So it's now going to scavenge all of them right now. So I let that run. This will take some time. I can also start this from the command line. You can do DNS command, the name of my server, and I can say start scavenging. So that's also triggered that scavenging. So it's now going to go through, it's going to look at the timestamps, work out is it past that refresh and no refresh interval time. And then we'll start to see them delete, but it's not an instant operation. And this concludes the lesson on some of that advanced resource record management.